Hey everyone, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to prove that the limit as x approaches 1 of 1 over x is equal to 1 using the epsilon delta definition. The statement that we want to prove is the following. For all epsilon greater than 0, there exists a delta greater than 0 such that for all x, if the absolute value of x minus c is less than delta and greater than 0, then the absolute value of f of x minus L is less than epsilon. So this is the statement that we want to prove. In our example, C is equal to 1, F of X is equal to 1 over X, and L is equal to 1. So let's begin by letting epsilon be greater than 0 be arbitrary. We write, let epsilon be greater than 0 be arbitrary. Then we have the absolute value of f of x minus l is equal to the absolute value of 1 over x minus 1 is equal to. Now what we're going to do is simplify everything inside the absolute value. So doing that we have the absolute value of 1 minus x divided by x. And this is equal to the absolute value of x minus 1 divided by the absolute value of x. Now from this part of the statement here we know that x minus 1 or the absolute value of x minus 1 is less than delta. So what we're going to do is we're going to let delta be equal to 1 half. And we're going to try to get an upper bound from this here for 1 over the absolute value of x. So that we can eventually end up at this statement using this part right here. So letting delta be equal to 1 half, we have x minus 1 is less than 1 over 2, which is greater than minus 1 over 2. Now, we're trying to arrive at 1 over the absolute value of x. So let's add 1 to both sides. So we have x is less than 3 over 2, and x is greater than 1 over 2. Now, taking the reciprocal, we have 1 over x is less than 2, and greater than 2 over 3. Taking the absolute value, we have 1 over the absolute value of x is less than 2. Now, we know that the absolute value of x minus 1 is less than delta, and now we know that 1 over the absolute value of x is less than 2. So we have the absolute value of x minus 1 divided by the absolute value of x is less than 2 multiplied by delta. Now remember, we want to end up with this expression here being less than epsilon. So we need to solve the following equation. 2 multiplied by delta is equal to epsilon. Dividing by 2 we get delta is equal to epsilon divided by 2. Thus, we take delta to be equal to the minimum of 1 over 2 and epsilon over 2. Because remember up here we let delta be equal to 1 over 2, so both of these conditions have to be satisfied in order for the proof to make sense. Now, for 0 less than the absolute value of x minus 1 less than delta, we have the absolute value of 1 over x minus 1 is equal to the absolute value of x minus 1 divided by the absolute value of x less than 2 multiplied by epsilon over 2, which is equal to epsilon. As epsilon greater than 0 is arbitrary, we have the limit as x approaches 1 of 1 over x is equal to 1. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you have a great day.